What's going on everybody? Today what we have is we have this Fisher Price uh, Barbie camper and what's going on is the customer is complaining about this only going for about 20 to 30 seconds before stopping and she's saying that the it starts blinking either a red or purple light um, on the uh, just above the gear shifter and that's telling me that it's probably doing both because uh, this does blink red and it does blink uh, purple so this has a maximum weight limit of 140 pounds so I weigh over 190 pounds so that leaves our little intern here who weighs a hundred and how much? 100, 100, 150. So he's less likely to uh, damage this. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get him in this and uh, we're going to give it a quick little spin and see uh, see what happens. So are you ready to uh, hop in there and let's give it a spin? Yeah. All right, let's go. Wow, I could, I could barely, you actually do fit in there. I could barely do that. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to throw it in reverse and uh, back it up and try not to scrape the wall. We don't want to scratch this vehicle. That's forward. Let's go forward. There we are. Here, move. Batteries. Okay, move your hand. Move your hand. Batteries dead. So see, we've got a red light. And it went back to green, so go ahead and uh, throw it back in reverse, and let's go. Go. There we go, red. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to check the battery. So, we're going to pop this blue hood. We're going to pull the battery out. Well, actually, let's unplug it and we're gonna test this. So I made, what I did was I got one of these motorcycle um, uh, load testers. What, what this does is it checks the amperage on the battery. So we're gonna plug this in. Okay, so as you can see, this says that it's got just over 12 volts, but I'm going to push this button right here and it's going to put it under load and let's see what happens. There's a black line right there and it should drop to the black line. If it drops below, then this battery is no good. Yeah, that's that's bad. Do you see how it just keeps on dropping down? Yeah, that's that's a bad battery. Okay, so we're going to pull this battery out and we're going to get a new battery and put it in. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so here's the new battery. Let's test this one. So we're going to plug my tester in. And as you see right here, it's actually registering 13 volts, which is what a healthy battery should be registering. We're going to put it under load and it should drop to that black line. Right on the money. So, this is a good battery. Let's plug this back in. Put the hood back on and go for a ride. Go forward.
Okay, now at this point, uh, we made sure that it was working. We rode it around for up to 10 minutes, wouldn't you say? Uh, and it never once uh, quit working. Everything was working like it's supposed to. There was no blinking lights. And we decided to give the customer a call and let her know that her power wheels was done. And on the phone, uh, she kept on saying, are you sure? And it, we were like, uh, yes, it's, it's good. We test, test rode it for like 10 minutes. And she was like, are you sure? And we were like, yeah, it's, it's fixed. And uh, then she was like, was anybody in it? And we were like, yeah, 10 minutes. Are you sure? At that point, I was like, you know, no problem. And we got off the phone. And that's whenever I decided that we were going to take a little bit of a, a special trip. And that's what we're going to do right now. So just watch. You're clear. You're clear. What can I get for you? Uh, yes, uh, I'd like to get a four-piece chicken McNugget. Okay. A uh, large tea. Okay. Um, what else? Uh, a large fry. Okay. And uh, I'd like to have uh, a uh, number one, please. Okay, what's the drink for the number one? Uh, a large tea, half and half, no ice, please. Okay, would you like any sauce for your four piece nugget? Um, no, thank you. All right, would that be all for you? That's it. You can pull around to the first one, though. Thank you. Is there a camera on that thing or something? Yeah. Oh. I can see you going there. You got the big bag of the horses? Yeah. Believe it or not, I'm on a test ride. <laughs> this was broken. You too, thank you. I was talking. <laughs> yeah. 
believe, believe it or not, this is a legit test rod. <laughs> a legit test rod. A legit tr test rod. Thank you. Do you want a drink tray? A uh, drink tray? That would be wonderful. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. John didn't get me with the other camera, did he? What? John didn't get me with the other camera, did he? Hello. He just stayed there, huh? Yeah. I kind of wish we took the other screw out. Why? So it's faster. I found another foothold. That was a successful test rod. Well, we are back from our test rod. We uh, went to McDonald's, got some food, and uh, the it worked flawlessly. So um, it was just the battery was going bad, and it was going bad most likely because uh, she has not been charging the battery properly. So be sure to charge the battery properly. Now on these Barbie Jeep, Barbie Jeeps, the Barbie campers, um, when you see a blinking red light, that means that the battery is half discharged and the computer in this thing does not like the battery being discharged. If you've got a solid red light, then that means that you need to fully charge uh, the battery for uh, up to uh, well, about 24 to 30 hours. Uh, with it half discharged, you have to charge it for a minimum of 12 hours. So be sure to keep those things charged up. After your kids are done riding it, if they ride it for, for a little bit, you need to go ahead and plug it in and let it get a good charge. Uh, so if this was helpful in any way, please leave me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to tell your friends. Check out some of the other videos on the corner of the screen. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.